Hi everyone, it's Steve Palladino from Palladino Power Project, uh, bringing another video on Super Power Calculator version uh, 4. Um, this time I'm bringing you a new uh, calculator. We have this little reference table over here and a little dark dot um, represents a new calculator. So if you look in here, we've got a few new uh, functions in here. Um, and this one here is, uh, is a, uh, another way of uh, calculating your FTP CP. And this one in particular is calculating your um, FTP CP and also your uh, reserve work capacity, W prime, using maximal efforts, whether they be from a time trial uh, test, uh, in training um, or on the weekend or an actual race uh, using maximal efforts from different activities or, or on different days. Uh, so let's look at this calculator that allows you to use multi, uh, multiple uh, activities from different days uh, with the following caveats. So um, the, uh, the instructions and steps are here. Um, and uh, number one is that you want to have at least two activities. You can use more. You can use, you know, three, four if you want, but you have to have two. Um, one of them needs to be um, between two and six minutes. The other one has to be 15 to 40 minutes. Uh, no uh, efforts less than two minutes or more than 40 minutes should be used in this uh, calculator. So again, the range, uh, acceptable range is two to 40 minutes. And at least one of them has to be in that two to six minute range. Another one has to be in the uh, 15 to 40 minute. If you, if you have one that's, let's say, eight minutes, that's fine, but you still need one from less than six minutes down to two and another one from 15 minutes up to 40. Um, so that's one caveat. Another uh, caveat is that um, we don't want to be pulling in uh, efforts from you know, two months ago and, and one from last week. Your fitness changes in that period. So the the uh, the guideline is roughly uh, you you want the test these test efforts or or races to be within a two to three week period within that so uh, three weeks is probably okay two weeks is better um, all the tests being done within two weeks if you have a uh, one week test protocol that's fine. Um, you know, where you're doing one test on Monday, another one on Wednesday, another one on a Saturday, that's fine. Um, but uh, avoid it or don't use efforts that are uh, more than three weeks uh, apart or, th or more than three weeks old. That's not going to give you a, a very reliable um, uh, measure. Um, the other thing that uh, you can do with this calculator, and I'm going to demonstrate it in the second part of this video, is um, you can also, if the efforts were done under different conditions, you can account for that and have that uh, corrected in your actual reported CP and W prime. So let's get into the calculator. As always, uh, the required elements are the gold, optional elements are, are the light blue, and the uh, outcome is in uh, green. So I've, I've put in for this example, it's a, it's a male runner using a wind uh, uh, stride pod. Um, I just entered that in. Um, it's optional. Um, you could leave them blank, but I put it in. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to put in your, the actual efforts, the activities. So I've pre-filled this, and 
basically the uh, the athlete, the test athlete that we're demonstrating, um, did a one k or one thousand meter time trial on June first of twenty twenty. Um, and the, the outcome was 377 watts for uh, a time of three minutes. Pretty good. Um, then on um, June 7th, the runner did a 5K um, uh, virtual race. And the outcome was 1739 with, it, with an average power of 340. So... I'm taking these tests from different days, and they're you know they're within a week. Um, they could, like I said, can be within two to three weeks. Um, and uh, in fact, it, it, when you have this, if you look read the pop up, it actually says uh, activities should be within a two week period. We're going to modify that probably to uh, say uh, within a three week period, uh, but. Ideally, the closer they are, the more uh, uh, valid your, your test is uh, or your result is going to be, I should say. Um, so you can see it, it, it tabulates the two activities. And so after entering those uh, fields, we go back to the main and we're going to scroll down and we can see the outcome. Um, 332 watts with an 8 kilojoule um, reserve work capacity estimated from these uh, efforts. Um, it will also, uh, the superpower calculator will also um, pop up your reserve work ca capacity ratings because we, uh, down here on this tab, reserve work capacity, we've, we've done uh, a bit of a study looking at outcomes of, of CP testing and um, um, and we've got broken it down by uh, male versus female so gender uh, the stride type uh, even even when uh, weight is input um, uh, we have a, a joules per kilogram but in this case we, we have a mean and, and um, standard deviations, uh, 1.66, if I recall correctly, standard deviations. So we have 95, uh, we have a 5% and 5% um, uh, at the extremes. So this, this runner falls actually right in this uh, near, near the average um, for this particular test. So there you have it. It's a um, a way of using activities from uh, different days, uh, as long as they're maximum efforts and they're um, within those those duration uh, caveats that I mentioned earlier, um, and uh, they're within a two to three week time period, um, then this is a, a viable calculator. Um, now I'm gonna. Um, go back and I'm going to show you one other feature of this uh, calculator. Now, let's say um, on this day, let's say the, the athlete was at 50 meters in both both um, cases. They're, they're near their home, which is at 50 meters. Um, on on uh, June 1st, it was a uh, afternoon uh, after work sort of thing. Um, and so the, the, the temperature was a little bit uh, warmer. The conditions um, were a little bit um, more significant or more uh, stressful at that, uh, for that particular day. Then on the weekend, on uh, June 7th, it was an early morning um, effort race. And so the conditions were a little bit um, more favorable. Uh, so I'm putting in those conditions for each of those tests because they they're we're running on different days so the conditions are going to be different we come back and um, scroll down and you can see that what we need it's uh, it's not giving us a result because we have to 
uh, tell the, the calculator what we want it to standardize to. So we're going to, let's say that the, uh, let's say that the, the conditions uh, the, that the athlete usually trains in, let's say is um, closer to this, 21 and 70. Let's say this is just a, a little hot patch there. And the, the athlete uh, is a little bit closer to that. So we're just gonna uh, go and enter the, the, what we're standardizing to um, uh, this set of conditions. And now you can see it pops up a result. And so if, if the tests were done under the same conditions, um, it, the, the CP would be 332. But because of the differing conditions, um, um, because they were a little bit more restrictive on, on the 1,000 meter time trial, um, you can see that that um, W prime is higher, reserve work capacity is higher because of the teeter-totter effect. As that goes up, CP goes down. Same set of data, but because the, the modeling is, uh, because of the temperature differences, the W prime is a little bit higher. So the estimate for the uh, CP is around 331. It's just a subtle difference. Um, and that would be at this set of conditions. So um, there you have it. You, you have a calculator, it's a new one, that allows you to uh, enter um, maximal efforts from different days, um, as long as they're within two to three weeks and they meet some time uh, um, guidelines, um, to give you a CP and W prime. Furthermore, if the, the conditions were dramatically different, um, you could enter those conditions um, for the specific days and uh, get a, uh, a corrected uh, value to whatever you want to standardize it to uh, uh, right here. So there you have it. Um, hopefully this uh, helps and um, uh, look forward to, to bringing another video soon. Thank you for watching. See you next time.